Hey guys, how you going? This is Billy Eat World again. Thanks for stopping by and just remember, if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, feel free to take a look at some of my other BF4 videos if you like. You can find them all in a playlist in the description down below. But anyway, in today's video, we're going to take a closer look at my primary weapon predictions for BF1. And the reason I thought we'd take a look at this topic today is because I'm guessing most of you guys aren't that familiar with World War I weaponry. Also, a lot of people are wondering what the gunplay is going to be like in BF1 because obviously BF4 isn't a really good comparison. So I think by taking a look at a bunch of the guns from this period, it should give you guys a much better idea of what to expect from the new game. So the way I thought I'd approach this video is to break down each category with all the guns that I think are most likely to make it in. And I don't just mean the ones that have already been confirmed in the trailer, this list also includes most of the other important weapons of the time. One more thing before we start though, obviously I should make it clear that this list is only a prediction. And also I think it goes without saying that by no means is this going to be a complete list, so if you think I've left anything out then feel free to leave a comment and let me know. But anyway, to get started, probably the most iconic weapon category from this period would have to be the bolt action rifles. So because of this, in game I don't think they're going to have too much trouble filling this category because basically each major nation had its own design. As for which ones we should expect to see in game though, well the four most important ones were the Lee Enfield's SMLE, the Gewehr 98, the Lebel 1886 and the Springfield M1903. But obviously just four isn't enough so to pad out this category I think we'll probably also see the Russian Mosin Nagant, the Japanese Arasaka, the Italian Carcano and the Canadian Ross Rifle. Now, still on the topic of rifles, well, another category we're probably also going to see is semi-auto rifles. But with that being said, semi-autos don't really necessarily spring to mind when you think of World War I because they didn't really see widespread use until World War II. So bearing this in mind, what really surprised me is that there actually were quite a few semi-autos used in World War I, although in small numbers. But in saying that, I'm pretty sure DICE will still probably add a few of them in, which could include the Mauser M1916, the Farquhar Hill and the RSC. Now speaking of automatic weapons, well coming in next is machine guns, which were probably the defining weapon of the war. But in saying that, machine guns were still a fairly new invention at the time the war broke out, so there weren't a lot of designs used, especially when it came to light machine guns. There were a few that did see service though, like the Lewis, the BAR, the Maxim 0815, the Shawshat, the Mazden and the Hotchkiss. But apart from that, unless I've missed any, in the research I've done it doesn't really seem like there were many others which could be a problem for future DLCs. Now, like I said, machine guns were a recent invention when the war started, but as for submachine guns, well, they didn't even exist when the war broke out. In fact, from what I can tell, the first SMGs to actually enter service were the Bergman MP18 and the Beretta M1918, which both appeared in the final months of the war. But what about the Tommy gun? Well, although it's an iconic weapon of the early 20th century, it didn't actually enter service until 1921. But with that being said, it was developed in 1918, so maybe DICE will just ignore the history here and add the gun in anyway to pad out the category. But anyway, the last and probably least weapon category, which will definitely be returning and I wish kinda wasn't, is shotguns. And that's because they were very effective at clearing out trenches during the war, so good in fact that Germany actually condemned their use in 1918. As for which ones we'll actually see in game though, well, it's important to note that the US was really the only nation to issue them in significant numbers, so bearing that in mind, I'm assuming we're probably going to see mainly US designs like the Winchester 1897, the Remington Model 10 and the Browning Auto 5. But anyway, to finish up, all up, as you can see, there's about 25 weapons on this list. And all of them I think are pretty cool, but unless I've missed a lot more, it kind of makes you wonder if there's actually going to be enough. Either way though, just looking at this list, I think it is pretty safe to say that the gunplay in BF1 is going to be very different from BF4, and it's hard to say whether it's going to turn out better or worse, but in any case, I'm sure I speak for most of you guys when I say I'm very keen to try out some of these old guns. 
But anyway, guys, that just about wraps up this list. So let me know what you think of my predictions. Let me know if you think I've missed anything. And as always, if you like what you see, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, check out the links in the description below if you want to see any more of my videos or if you want to support my channel on Patreon. And until next time, see you later and have a good one.